Hi there, my name is John Pelfrey, and on behalf of the Digital Public Library of America Secretariat, I wanted to give a brief update on what's happened this summer at the DPLA and to uh, invite everyone to sign up for an open conference, the kickoff of the DPLA uh, official planning process that's going to start on October the 21st in Washington, D.C. So uh, just three quick things that have uh, occurred over the course of the summer. Uh, first is that many of the people who said that they were going to participate in our beta sprint have in fact done so. The deadline was September the 1st for submissions to this beta sprint, and I'm glad to say we've gotten nearly 40 complete submissions by the deadline, and they are fantastic. I have seen many of them, and uh, you can too. We've been urging the beta sprinters to make their sprints, in fact, available on the DPLA blog. We have uh, uh, put a list of them, and as more and more become public for um, broad consumption, they'll be put in the comments field uh, to that blog post, and uh, we're encouraging people on the DPLA discussion list uh, to be commenting on them already. So it's really very invigorating to see these extremely interesting and some of them quite complete submissions for what a DPLA might look like. And I'm very grateful word out now to the uh, all the people who have participated and worked very hard, obviously, this summer in the DPLA beta sprint and look forward to all of your review uh, of those submissions as well. And the formal process for reviewing it, these have been submitted to the steering committee of the DPLA, but we've convened a group of outside experts, people who do not have a conflict of interest with any of the submitters and who have a national reputation uh, in the field of libraries and in the field of technology and so forth with a very good balance between different kinds of uh, people and backgrounds from different kinds of libraries and, uh, and different skill sets who will be coming uh, here to Cambridge in a few weeks to do a review of those submissions and to give some guidance to the steering committee in terms of which of those are most promising and how we might uh, think about inviting some of them to Washington, D.C., in fact, to present their work at our kickoff, which again is October the 21st uh, in Washington. So that's the update on the beta sprint. Uh, second of all, we've spent a lot of time um, working with a uh, bunch of volunteers uh, around the development of the six work streams for the DPLA. This is a very broad uh, set of participants where um, we're looking for volunteers who are going to lead these six open processes. Now, it will be available to anyone to join up for a work stream. We think of them more or less akin to the IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force type groups where anyone who wishes to come and participate will have the chance to do so. But we're asking a group of conveners to come help uh, to pull those uh, together. These are people who have identified in particular areas of interest and where uh, they reach out to a particular um, community um, uh, across the board. So these conveners will have no special role other than that they will hopefully be reaching out uh, to those uh, in their communities to ensure broad participation along these six work streams. And these work streams will kick off again in, in October when um, we have this big uh, public big tent meeting uh, in Washington, D.C., and we'll work for the following 18 months or so to what we uh, plan to be the formal kickoff of the DPLA itself, uh, slated now for April 2013. Um, so that's uh, the work streams and much more to come on those. The wiki for the DPLA has the names of those work streams set up and uh, we'll encourage people to sign up for it. And then third of three is this uh, big tent kickoff. We're very excited that David Ferriero, the archivist of the United States, will be hosting us at the National Archives. This is October the 21st in Washington. There's a public sign up. There are some spaces left, not too many, so please do sign up if you are interested. It's about a 300 person auditorium and the uh, spots are going quickly, so please do uh, sign up if you would like to join us, and we'd, we'd absolutely love to see you there. We'll be working on remote participation means and so forth as well for those who can't get to Washington, D.C., but uh, we urge you uh, to check out that event and hope you will join us for uh, this exciting kickoff. There will be other plenary events. We're planning one, for instance, for the West Coast, maybe uh, in spring, so forth, so that people who uh, are not so proximate to Washington will have an easier time getting there, and we'll plan to have events around the DPLA um, uh, around the country at different points. Um, I wanted to make one final note, which is uh, many people have inquired about the status of the name of the DPLA. Um, we have not yet uh, made a decision about the final uh, name on the DPLA. The steering committee has had some discussion on the discussion list, but um, no formal uh, meeting about it. I don't think there's yet a consensus um, around changing the name, but I also know that there's uh, continued uh, discussion of it, and um, so I just wanted to note that the issue is still uh, a still a live one, but that we haven't made a change 
uh, yet to move away from that name uh, in particular. So I think through the kickoff, we will most likely go with it and then uh, plan to have um, discussion over time about whether we can come up with a better, uh, better name than the Digital Public Library of America. Uh, so more on all those fronts uh, online, and uh, I hope that many of you will consider joining us in Washington, D.C., either virtually or in person on October the 21st, and will get involved in the work streams of the DPLA over the uh, ensuing 18 months or so to help us build uh, this DPLA. In the meantime, check out the beta sprints. They're very exciting, and I uh, hope to talk to many of you and see many of you soon. Thanks so much.